I find it amazing how the followers of Muhammad, who read his Quran assiduously in clear Arabic, are still totally oblivious or unwilling to understand the actual meaning and or implications of what they're reading. You and I have discussed this matter recently, and I'd like you to share your views with our listeners. It is a great tragedy that part and parcel of the burden of being a follower of Muhammad is to be in a state of total denial all of one's life. I do not say this jokingly, but as a very frightening manifestation of the incredible depth of their programming and indoctrination. Let us look, for example, at the earliest and most relevant Quranic verses on this subject, starting with Surah Al-Baqarah 2.127. And remember, Abraham and Ismail raised the foundations of the house. Our Lord, accept this service from us, for thou art the all-hearing, the all-knowing. Our Lord, make of us Muslims bowing to thy will. Rabbina waj'alna muslimina laka. And of our progeny a people Muslim bowing to thy will. Wa min thurriyatina ummatan muslimata laka. And this was the legacy that Abraham left to his sons, and so did Jacob. O oh, my sons, Allah hath chosen the faith for you, then die not except in the faith of Islam. فَلَا تَمُوتُونَ إِلَّا وَأَنْتُمْ مُسْلِمُونَ Were ye witnesses when death appeared before Jacob? Behold, he said to his sons, What will ye worship after me? They said, We shall worship thy Allah and the Allah of thy fathers of Abraham, Ismail and Isaac, the one true Allah to him we bow in Islam. وَنَحْنُ لَهُ مُسْلِمُونَ Say ye, We believe in Allah and the revelation given to us and to Abraham, Ismail, Isaac, Jacob and the tribes, and that given to Moses and Jesus, and that given to all prophets from their Lord, we make no difference between one and another of them, and we bow to Allah in Islam, وَنَحْنُ لَهُ مُسْلِمُونَ I have recited the relevant parts in the Arabic language, so that the listeners, whether they are English or Arabic speakers, hear the words Muslimuna as it actually appears in the Quran when we cannot be accused of any falsification. These verses very clearly refer to Abraham, Ishmael, Isaac, Jacob, and their descendants, the tribes of Israel. Let us now point out the obvious that invariably escapes the intellect of the followers of Muhammad. 1. All of the above-named biblical characters were Hebrews and not Arabs. 2. Every one of them lived at least 2,500 years before Muhammad and his Quran. 3. Since the Quran itself asserts that they were all Muslims because they believed in the one and only Allah, then Islam as a concept preceded Muhammad and his Quran by at least 2,500 years. 4. By what standard of logic or morality then do Muhammad and his followers appropriate this concept as if it were their own invention and hence belong to them alone. 5. For 1,400 years and unto this day, they pride themselves at being the only true Muslims and hence superior to all other beliefs, when in fact and reality they had plagiarized, plundered, pirated and or perverted this concept from the Jews. Let us now examine more relevant verses. Al-Imran 3.52 when Jesus found unbelief on their part, he said, Who will be my helpers to Allah? Said the disciples, We are Allah's helpers. We believe in Allah. And do thou bear witness that we are Muslims. وَأَشْهَدْ بِإِنَّ مُسْلِمُونَ Al-Imran 3.64 Say, O people of the book, come to common terms as between us and you, that we worship none but Allah, that we associate no partners with him that we erect not from among ourselves lords and patrons other than Allah. If then they turn back, say, bear witness that we at least are Muslims bowing to Allah's will. وَأَشْهَدُ بِإِنَّ مُسْلِمُونَ Al-Ma'idah 5.111 And behold, I inspired the disciples to have faith in me and mine apostle. They said, we have faith and do thou bear witness that we bow to Allah as Muslims. وَأَشْهَدْ بِإِنَّ مُسْلِمُونَ Al-Hajj 22.78 And strive in his cause, he has chosen you and has imposed no difficulties on you in religion. It is the cult of your father Abraham. It is he who has named you Muslims, Al-Muslimina, both before and in this revelation. This verse makes it crystal clear that it was Allah who named the Hebrews and the Israelites before and the Muhammad and Arabs 
after as Muslimina. It is important that our listeners should grasp the following facts, based upon the verses above, as well as others in the Quran, that Adam, Noah, Abraham, Ishmael, Isaac, Jacob, the tribes, Moses, Jesus, Mary, and the apostles existed thousands of years before Muhammad and his Quran. They all believed in the one and only God of Israel, and hence were, by definition of the word and its implication in the Quranic verses, Muslims. In fact, any creature from anywhere in the universe who submits to the will of or believes in the one and only God is automatically a Muslim and has absolutely nothing to do with either Muhammad or his Quran. It is an affront to logic and to human intelligence in general that the followers of Muhammad have arrogated the term Islam only to themselves for the last 1400 years, while it is neither the truth nor the reality. What is even more relevant is another fact, and that is, there were people in Arabia long before Muhammad and his Quran who believed only in the God of Abraham and who were neither followers of the faith of the Jews nor of Christianity who were called Hanifs. Khadija, Muhammad's first and most important wife in his life, was one of them, a Hanifiya. The Muhammadan Muslim exegetes do not dwell at all upon her incalculable influence upon Muhammad's religious beliefs, his psychology, and the course of his life. Her belief in the one and only God of Abraham was the cause that turned Muhammad away from his paganism and made such an impact upon his mind to such an extent that he took it upon himself to bring all of the pagan Arabians to monotheism. In conclusion, Islam as a concept preceded Muhammad and his Quran by at least 25 centuries.